I am Claire. Welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I am going to be doing Little Simsy's Round Room Shell Challenge. Okay, couldn't remember if that was the right word, words, but basically since we have curved walls now, Little Simsy did a curved wall shell challenge, and so I decided to make a yurt. So the outside of these yurts are blue because that's what I saw online, even though this is more like a stacco, and in real life it's more like a fabric. I have somewhat stayed in a yurt before. I went to a church camp and there were yurts there, but me and a friend didn't want to stay in the yurts because we knew we wouldn't get sleep and we both function better when we get sleep. And so we were on a tent like close by but not like really close by and so yeah that's my one yurt story and so we are just finishing up the kitchen I'm pretty sure I'm only using a base game outdoor treat and the kids camper kit and I might be wrong I'm pretty sure I was trying to just use those free packs and so we are those are a little bit of random packs. I don't really work together. Well, I guess the camping kit and the camping kit kind of go together. But we are just going to be using this table from Seasons. Oh, it's Seasons. I also use Seasons in this pack or this build. So we are just going to be adding a dining room table. And I do realize that these chairs are different like styles not styles different colors on the sides but I don't change it right now I don't realize it that I have two different colors and so we do come back and change that but not now so we're just going to be adding this picture and going to be adding a bookshelf I like how these builds like the builds in this world don't have TVs in them. I did add a TV in up to a teen space and there's like that projector that came with the camping kids kit. And so that's why there's a bookshelf right there is because I didn't really want it to be heavily focused on the technology in the in this build. And so now we are just going to be adding this chest table, but I do end up moving it outside or it's kind of a little area where there's like also like a flower making station and like a card table. I thought that turned out pretty cute. I don't show it because I don't end up doing it until after I stop recording and I try to just record this all in one take just so it's easier. And so yeah, that just ends up being outside and so we are trying to make it nice in here so we are just going to be adding some details into the kitchen and then I think we're going to be moving on into the primary bedroom which is in the same big building as this yurt there are two smaller yurts on the sides but we'll talk about those in a moment first we are going to be doing the primary bedroom so this bedroom is right off the kitchen. I kind of thought it'd be nice to have it be in this area, not to have like, like a fourth yurt for the primary bedroom. It's just like the main gathering space for all three of these yurts besides the stuff I have outside. And so this bedroom ends up being blue to tie in with like the rugs I have in the front room and then basically the outside of the yurt since it is blue. And I do like how there is a flat wall in this room so the bed doesn't isn't weird against one of the curved walls. That was intentional just for the kitchen but I do like how it helps with the primary bedroom and so here we're just changing the layout of the front room to put the chest table outside. I really wanted this space to like, be like main gathering space around this like indoor fireplace and so we are just going to be adding these couches from Seasons and just making it nice and cozy. You can have six sims sit on these couches and then I'm pretty sure that um, you can have nine sims total. So we are just going to 
me kind of going back and forth between these spaces. Now I'm just working on the dresser, making it seem kind of cluttered and like they've been here for a week or so. And so we are just going to be adding some small details, adding this coat rack. Maybe it's like throughout a rainstorm and so they need to like hang up their sweaters so they can dry. And so we are just going to be adding a mirror just to help balance out that space. And so now we're just going to be adding something in this corner. I tried to keep it kind of open, but it felt like something just needed to be there so it wasn't just empty. But I wanted to keep it open so the door is simpler if the door wouldn't be in the way. And so we are just going to be adding this flower with like the hutch over it. And I really like how this turns out. I haven't used this combo in a while and I kind of did steal it from somebody. I don't remember who, but we are going to be adding these lights, keeping it all woodsy and going to be adding this rug into the space and so now we are in the kids bedroom and one of the rules with simsy's shell challenges is that you can have like platforms or foundation touching the shell but you can't like have another wall be touching her shell and so that's why there are two yurts off of this off of the big yurt and so this yurt is just a tad bit closer to the figure because it's the kids and toddler's room and so I thought it makes sense to have this yurt be a little bit closer since it's probably not too comfortable with being alone and so it's kind of a fun space. I try to make it a fun space and so we are just going to be adding toy boxes and like stuffed animals trying to make it very playful so if it's like a rainy day they can just play here have fun together and so we are just going to be adding this cat radio from the kids camper that radio is like the one reason why i wanted to use the kids camper pack in this build and so we are just going to be kind of rearranging some things around but kind of get like a good idea of how everything is going to lay out. I am going to be putting some toddler beds underneath the bunk beds. And I did want to add this like scouts board because they're in the woods, it makes sense, but it didn't end up fitting. And so we do end up getting rid of it at the end. And so now we are just going to be adding those toddler beds. Try to keep it kind of similar with the bedspreads. They both have leaves on it although they are different and so now just trying to figure out the best arrangement for these items and so I did want to put like another card table in the room but it just didn't work out and so we are just going to be adding two dressers into this space. We got one where it's like kind of like stair looking and one that's like an actual dresser. And so we do add these little night light things from the camper kit that look like the rocket trips. And I really like that. I thought that was a fun detail. And so now we're just going to be adding a bunch of stuffed animals. They can't play with like the bunny, the ladybug, and the gnome just as a bear. But I thought it gave that, that fun, youthful type of vibes. And so we are just going to kind of seeing where it fit, fits the best. And so now we are just going to be adding a little toddler potty because maybe they won't be able to make it all the way to the outhouse. So I wanted to have one toddler potty in the kids room and then another toddler potty in the outhouse. And so now we are just going to be adding high chairs and realizing that all of the chairs are different colors. And so we are just going to be going back into the kids room and adding some blocks for the toddlers and this is when I get rid of the scout board and so I wanted there to be something for the toddlers since there's a lot of stuff for the kids with the art table and there's like a dollhouse in the back of the lot and so 
we are just going to be trying to add some pictures into this space, both of the hard one because of the curved walls and two because of these curved walls and I couldn't find anything I, I really wanted to add so I was just kind of like this works I guess and I should probably also mention that I did play test the bunk beds and they do work with the bookshelf being underneath them and so I didn't really test the toddler area because I didn't have a toddler in my household or I don't have a toddler in my household when I was playtesting this area. The only thing I was really concerned about was the steps down to the backyard and, and so now we are just going to be adding some paint into the uh, teens room. This is now in the teens room and the first thing I did was see how many beds I could add into the space. I like watching this show on HGD TV called Battle on the Beach where it's basically rental property vacation homes and that's one of their tasks is to see how many beds they can fit in each room and so that was kind of my goal with this and so we do end up having three beds in this room so maybe one teenager and two of their friends can stay in this room or two teenagers and one friend i did it really have like a certain like family structure maybe just like a couple of kids and friends and so we do end up adding a tv into this space i thought maybe they wouldn't be that interested in being outdoors and so having a tv in this space would make them a little bit more happier. Maybe the parents can be watching something on the projector with the kids, but they want to watch something a little bit more mature, something less kiddy. And so we are going, that's why I added a TV into this space. And so I did add a fourth chair just to maybe, maybe one of the kids is actually a tween. And so the teens are nice to having them come in and watch a movie, but I just didn't, it seemed too crowded and I wanted to make sure that there was enough space to get into each of the beds and so we are just going to be adding a guitar into the space, I couldn't pronounce that, a guitar into the space for a little bit of like campfires or practicing before the campfires and so we are just going now into the outhouse or the yurt outhouse and so this is a big space and so I end up putting like two bathrooms almost into this area and so we are just going to start off with this shower tub combo and a toilet and then I'm like okay I already know that there's going to be enough space for a sink and a toddler toilet and so I'm going to kind of divide the space into two and so there's like a separate toilet room and a shower on one side and then there is a another room with a toilet and a shower sharing a room and so the sinks do end up being in the middle of this room just to kind of help with a like, kind of community vibe. I didn't really figure this out until a little bit later, but it just kind of ended up having like two sinks on the curved. But now I think we're going to be adding a wall into the tub room, and then we are going to be adding another room into this small space. I thought this was pretty smart, just since it's only like one bathroom space, it's like one outhouse. But since there's like so many sims in the, like the yurts, it made sense to have another area, like two bathrooms in this area. And so here is that second bathroom. Yes, the toilet is hovering is it like against the wall, but that's curved walls for you. So we are just going to be adding a towel and now going to be going in to what I would say is like a backyard space. I wanted this to be kind of fun for the kids and so I have this like tent blanket thing from the 
kit, the camping kit with a dollhouse and here is the projector. This does, like you do need to repair it when you have, uh, when it's raining and I cannot pronounce it's getting close to the end of the uh, video, but I do want to say that I do have the couches, but it just didn't seem fitting and so I do end up adding camp chairs instead and so we are getting close to the screenshots and so please make sure to like and comment if you enjoyed my video make sure to follow me on instagram because i am trying to post bonus content out there and so i hope you enjoyed watching if you want to play in this house the information is in the description hope you have an amazing week bye